Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new Minecraft series on the Felixstow TV channel. So yeah, um, Felixstow TV has had a couple of Minecraft episodes but they haven't been a proper series and they haven't really shown you anything about Minecraft. So in this series we're hoping to uh, change that and this is sort of a tutorial slash guide on how um, to do things with Minecraft. So basically, um, this series is going to be about build how to build a city in Minecraft. So... Um, as you can see here, uh, this is my personal city at the moment, and I'll just go for a flyover um, because uh, we have built quite a lot on this world. Uh, there's a few recognisable buildings. That one is in Los Angeles, I do believe. That's a real life building, um, recreated. Um, there's a paintball arena down here with all the um, trees, the train tracks, train bridge, solar panel farm, stuff like that. There's motorways, there's everything here. Um, so in this episode, um, we're going to be learning how to start off a city. So, um, if you start up your world, um, there is two ways you can start up your world. You can either have it super flat, or you can have it um, sort of the normal terrain, where you get hills and mountains and stuff. And as for city, cities are mainly flat, with many, um, not many hills um, and mountains. So, what you want to do is first, seeing this is on a super flat world we don't actually have to do that but I will show you a very good technique of how to clear land um, very very fast um, so you can get your city started so what you're going to need, you're going to need a diamond shovel, it has to be diamond you put that in the anvil and then you add it with the book which is efficiency 5 and then that gets you this so I'll show you where the, to get these items it is in the tools, weapons and armor list and the gold, the diamond shovel is there it has to be diamond otherwise it won't work and if you go down one you will come to, where is it? I'm breaking, efficiency five which is there and this is what you want to have so now you've got this tool you can see it's basically like normal really it doesn't, it doesn't seem to do much um, but if you switch your game mode from creative, which I am on now, and I do recommend you build all your cities on, um, switch it to survival. This will put you on survival mode, and you can see you can drill a lot faster. You can get rid of land a heck of a lot quicker than uh, normal, and it's a good way. See here we are sort of drilling out a sea slash dock area here, um, if we want all this land cleared. You can literally just go up to it, go like that, and then you can just hold down the button, and it will just mow the land away super quick. Um, it is a very, very effective method of clearing land, as you can see here. Um, I'm just going to skip the video on a bit, um, just so when I'm finished this, just to show you how much I can clear, and then I'll put the time down of how long it took me to clear away all this land. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've been at that for about four minutes now, and I have cleared, as you can see, a lot of land here. But, there is one thing with this method that comes at a price. Um, the first price is that you can destroy um, your shovel, so that's why I have a couple of spares up here. So you want to make a load of them, because um, they can get worn out in survival mode. As you can see, look how much uh, land I've cleared, all this area. But, another thing is, it is kind of... Um, Kind of awkward to get every single block and you do, and you kind of drill into the ground a bit where you don't want to because we just want to take the top layer off 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go around with a grass block and you're just going to fill in any of the gaps because this is going to be filled with water, you don't want there to be holes. So you're going to fill them in and just destroy any loose blocks that you've missed. So I'll just speed this up so you guys don't have to sit for it. And there we go, that is uh, the sort of ground complete. Now um, I'm going to show you a quick sort of um, tutorial on how you get the water to fill up certain areas because the main thing you want to start your city with is where you want to put your water, um, rivers and sea like that and where you want to have your land. Um, so yeah. The next episode will be starting a landscaping because that is the next thing that you want to do in your city and as you can see here the water is slowly moving in but you want to get the water bucket from the miscellaneous um, objects uh, menu and then actually uh, this is this was the old dockside um, area here this was how big the river was actually going to be but it's actually miles out there now um, so yeah this was actually going to be sort of a small dock area but now it's become the main ocean so I'll just cut this back a bit. I'll cut it up. To this. Um, someone has placed a silverfish block, and there you go. See, the water kind of fills itself, but I don't really want that to do that because um, it can get lower in these certain areas as it goes into holes. So what you want to do is you want to fill up the corners just so the sea is nice and flat. Um, and when you look out from a distance, it will look pretty nice because people. Are not normally going to go out into the sea if you've got a city so you want this as kind of um, kind of like a decoration um, around your city just to make it look a bit nicer and not so just continuous buildings because you want a couple of rivers um, and oceans around you don't want it all just to be land because that is not realistic and not true to real life so there we go so yeah we filled in um, the main area that I have started it took me about I'd say six minutes to get that done um, so not not too long at all not too long at all um, so yeah that that is a quick and easy way of how to landscape um, so yeah or not landscape um, dig and place water so yeah I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hope you join us into the next episode of how to build a city where we'll be getting on to landscaping which means creating hills, uh, creating like beach lines and stuff like that, um, just to make your land a bit, a bit nicer before we actually start the main city. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.